What is up guys, it is Volt here and I am doing a tutorial on my old cartoon style. It was um I did a couple backgrounds with this. It was my Dare Arts one, Bruce, Era Artist, the Water Entry thingy. I did a lot of them. So nobody's done that before in Cinema 4D. A lot of people they do like paint backgrounds and stuff like that. And like Photoshop, MS Paint, Telescreator. Like glads, fade, or like all of them, they do that, but they all draw the stuff. <clears throat> Nobody does it in Cinema 4D, so I'm gonna show you how I did that in Cinema 4D. So, first thing you're gonna want to do merge your logo. I'm gonna use. Hmm. I am gonna use inside logo. So. <clears throat> You don't have to do this, but I just connect all the others just to make it easier. Oh my god. Oh god. So name that. Oh, what am I doing? So, just make that, just do what you normally do with the extruder. Make it a little bit bigger. 50. 50 look pretty good. And if you want, you can add fillet caps. I'm going to show you how, like, what it looks like with and without fillet caps. I'm going to do two. And, um, you can add the steps on it. It makes it more rounder. I'm going to show you that real quick. Equal it up with the thing. Yeah, it's more rounder. I'm going to show you how to do it this way first. But, um, after you finish with your logo and all that, you want to go down here and make a material. Take off specular. Go to color. And then I'm going to make this... A nice and blue. Then let's do that. I don't know why. I don't even know what. What's the difference between these? If you know what this does, like what are these? What does it mean? Just like try to put that in the description. I have no idea. So put it on there. <coughs> render it. It does nothing right now. It's just plain. No special lighting. Nothing. It's the plain logo with the. Ghetto material. So you want to come up here, then you go to effect, then you go to sketch and tune, put on material, take off crease, outline. I do best. And then you can t keep this on. I'm going to show you with it on first. And then go over here to show lines and take that box right there. So then when you render it out, You get this sort of effect right here. It takes a while to render because like my computer is garbage for me. But for most of you, it'll take like seconds. It won't even take that long. Hey, you can model a huge scene or something like that and make it cartoon, and it'll take. It won't take more than five minutes. So yeah, you got that nice sort of cartoony look to it, I guess. And then you go to shading, background off. It's just like an alpha channel sort of thing. So render it out again. See, you see the black background. <clears throat> I'm going to show what it looks like with an atom array on it. So I'm going to do that real quick. Oh, I didn't even, oh, I don't need to do Oh, this, sometimes it does this generating lines thing. Sometimes it takes a while. Sometimes it doesn't. It depends how complex whatever you're rendering out is. <clears throat> like you see all the lines out there from the atom array. Like I don't know what they are. The things that go around it. So it's again every single one of those. That's why it takes a while. So I'm gonna let this render out real quick. I'm gonna let it finish up these two boxes right here and then I'm gonna stop it because it will take a while and it waste time.
So yeah, you can see it right there. It doesn't look that great, but I don't have material on it. It's probably not so dark, and it's because the lines they're so thick. I don't, I haven't changed the thickness yet, but I'm gonna show you how to do that, so you can probably see the atom array next time. You can see it. You would be able to see it on logos without so many curves. You see like the curve right there, like the phase logo or something like that, or um, what other logo? Um. Like most people's logos that they use now, like the old logos that people used to use, like the ones that Louis used to make, Opticals, Felix, like all the old logos that people used to use and those look really good with it. Alright. So you come down here to the material, go to thickness on the sketch mat and you can put that to one. I recommend don't go lower than one and don't go higher than two. So in between that and you're pretty much good. So I'm gonna show you that real quick. Oh god. Show you that. It just makes it thicker. Well, not thicker, thinner or thicker. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. It yeah, it looks pretty nice. So you go you can go to here, I don't know what this does, like advanced, intermediate, and simple. I don't know what that does. But what I figured out, like, probably 20 minutes ago, is that they have all these settings you can use right here. I don't even know what most of them do. Like, I tried some of them, but I have no idea what these do. Like, you guys can try these. If you got new stuff you can do with it. You can even find some new stuff with it and try that out. Because a lot of people came to Skype asking me how did I do it. How, how I made stuff in sequel D cartoony, I guess. So, uh, this is the first tour I made about it. So, yeah. Opacity, I guess that you already probably know what that does. I'm put down a 50 right now and then Yeah, you just can't really see the line that good, I guess. I don't, I don't even know what it does. Um, it's probably about it. Hmm. Let me check. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, you can just do like Nitro Blast or something like that. You can do different stuff with that. Oh, I'm going to show you what it would look like if you did use the light gun. See, I use um, Vane's light and everything, the Deadpool D file. You can go on his channel to get that. I think it's Bane's Artistic. So he has a free Lightroom on there. You can download that. It's really good. It's a really good Lightroom. It's made for intro and stuff, but it's really good for backgrounds or anything really. It's not that bright, so if you, you need like a really bright Lightroom, then I'm going to really recommend it for you. And if you do do this, like, effect, you got to delete both of these, or it looks. It doesn't look that good. Uh, you'll see lines all over the place and stuff. It will make it just look pretty bad. So with the Lightroom, it don't make as much detail. It kind of takes away the detail to it. So you don't see much shadows or anything like that. You can see them pretty good up here and stuff. Or maybe down there, but down there is kind of small. Rotate a little bit. Yep, so you get that. It doesn't look that like thick. It looks pretty damn thin. Well, then you see it right there. No, I don't really know what that is. But, yeah, that's pretty much how you do it. And if you go inside my um, 100 pack that I released a couple days ago, I think it was last weekend, the weekend before that, you can, if you download that, you will see the Lightroom that I have, most of my models that I made in there for my. For most of my backgrounds, I have, have this SB one I did in there, I scrapped that, I think my Psycho one is in there, I did for Psycho Studios, my inside entry, 
my FX entry. I think my reflect one's in there also. Like there's a lot of stuff in there. I think my Robbie one's in there. Like that um my Robbie entry was supposed to come out, but I accidentally deleted it off my computer because I thought I already had it rendered out. So I deleted that. That was probably the best speed art I've done to date. Probably still better than the ones I released now. But yeah. I think that's in there so I'll be doing another tutorial probably within a couple days or next week on my other style like the white one I've been doing well I'm not doing any more obviously but it was what did I do with it um I did a couple back then, but I did my sunny entry with it I did I didn't pretty much every contest out right now, but most of them I didn't really like, so I deleted them. So I will do that tutorial because a lot of people have been asking for that also. So just stay on the lookout for that. And I'm voting, and I'm out.